Hello VC and those of you watching this uh, video on uh, YouTube. I'm and especially those of you in the uh, uh, Facebook groups uh, Thrifting Music Collectors and Listeners and Vinyl Karma. I'm Tim and i uh, going to show you some uh, thrift store uh, finds that I got today. I went to a Salvation Army that uh, opened up around 10 miles from here uh, over the summer and I, to, I think it was maybe a little bit before that but uh, this one today was my first time in there and I'm going to show you what I got uh, there today first of all these were the first things I uh, found when I got in there Got these for 99 cents. I just have cleaned them up some and then I'll put more of my tapes in. As you can see behind me, I have quite a few tapes uh, that I could use putting up. After I found them, I started searching for the vinyl. Put it this way they had like uh, at least 15 crates of vinyl there. And uh, what uh, got me even more excited was when I saw the thing saying, all records, 10 cents. So, I got all these for 10 cents a piece there. So, my first Frank Sinatra album. It's an uh, album the world thought we knew. I was just seeing if it showed uh, the year on it, that it doesn't. Next, a double, I think it's double album. Yeah, it's a double LP set. The Osmonds Live. I have uh, several other Osmonds one and uh, I have another live one, but uh, it's different than this one. Here's a country one. Bushel of top country hits. Notice this is classic country here. It has like Furlan Husky on there. Hell well is. Some of them I don't recognize names on, but I get stuff like this, so I can find to, to maybe get interest in those artists and look for it, or there's stuff in, in my digs. Okay, this is a uh, first album I have by this artist. It's a Christmas one, but it's somebody that I know a lot of people on the vinyl car I like. This guy. Christmas with Chet Atkins. Like I said, it's my first album by him. I haven't come across any of his other stuff on my digs. And I figured, hey, I'll take a chance on this other some of this other stuff we normally see in them. Maybe get in some of them. I like because uh, lately on Sunday nights I've been listening to some shows at. Uh, Paul Pease or Cycle DJ 67 I says he likes uh, that's they're on uh, the radio and they have pages on Facebook it, the first one is uh, the Wax Museum uh, with Ronnie Dark but uh, the thing that got me interested in some of these others is the show right after it is the Night Owl Lounge with Mike Adams and uh, so the first one I got, I know there's writing all over the cover, it's a double album set. It's uh, Percy Faith's All Time uh, Greatest Hits. Next is Walter Murphy, Rhapsody in Blue. 
Yeah, this is the guy that did a Faith of Beethoven uh, for the soundtrack of uh, Saturday Night Fever. And this is on uh, private stock record, so you don't find too many uh, artists on private stock, really, or too many album, private stock albums here. And, of course, who doesn't like some of the uh, music uh, soundtracks from some of these movies you've seen? This isn't quite a own track one, but it uh, has some good songs on it. It's uh, it songs from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and, and other fantasy favorites. But no, I like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang as when I was a kid. To help out to all of you. And here's some that uh, Chris Brzezinski, Dixieland Farms, might like. Jackie Gleason, A Taste of Brass, top for Lovers Only. Guess this is more of a big band sound, but it's, uh, but with the music on it, it's, might be interesting. Okay, an all-star parade, tits from the movies. It has Tony Bennett on there, Doris Day, The Four Lads, Johnny Mathis, Ben Crosby, Duke Ellington, Mitch Miller, Victor Moan, Percy Faith, and a couple others on there, but uh, it's, uh, it looks like an interesting one. And here's another one with stuff for movies. Great music. Uh, from MGM, like it says, it's performed uh, by the original stars from the original film recordings. Like it has Over the Rainbow, sang by Judy Garland, singing in the rain with Gene Kelly. The trolley song from Beat Me in St. Louis, that's Ju Judy Garland again. Just seeing. What other ones have? Uh, well, and it has uh, some other movies there, so. I think that will be good. This one, next one, well, got, got my attention. At the uh, covers in poor shape. But I noticed it was heavy. It's just one album. I thought maybe with this heavy it was, there were two in there. But no, there's one. It's on London Records. It's uh, Wilhelm Brickhouse and the Vienna Symphony Orchestra playing uh, Mozart Piano Concerto Number no. 27 in B Major and Sonata uh, Number no. 11 in A Major. And uh, I like crap Mozart. When I was a kid, I from uh, the summer after fifth grade through ninth grade, I played the violin, so I do like classical music. Here's another one I got. It says Collector's Album, Limited Edition. Great Songs of America. It has people on it like uh, Mitch Miller, Andre, uh, Castle it's I was sick about getting so this check out, but I didn't. Mahalia Jackson, Robert Goulet, Brothers Far, New Christy Minstrels, and Percy Faith, which I saw with you on. Okay, here's another artist that I I had some of this. I figured maybe start getting more again. Johnny Mathis, so nice. Like this one has an impossible dream on it. What the world needs now is love. So it has some great, real good songs on there. Okay, a week ago I went to uh, Bluegrass Festival and a lot of them had saying like, Sing like a gospel or a Christian song on. 
Well, I came up saw this one today. And I thought, boy, that might be an interesting one to, to check out. It's a uh, great, uh, great day with the bald knobbers. It's uh, pretty much uh, bluegrass, uh, uh, Christian music or bluegrass gospel. It says uh, they have uh, do a th have a theater near Branson. But I thought that it looked interesting and I figured I'd get it to check it out. What can I lose? Only a dime. Another one. Johnny Mathis. Warm. I can't see the part where he does it with uh, Percy Faith and his orchestra. Another compilation or sampler. It has limited edition available to club members only. It's from the Columbia Record Club. It's the headliners and it's some the ones on your Mitch Muller and the gang, Johnny Mathis, Ray Conniff, the Brothers Horn, the Dave Brubeck Trio, Percy Faith, Andre Ka uh, Castellanitz, the Norman Luboff Choir, Tony Bennett, Marty Robbins, Lionel Hampton, and the Four Lads. Now here's another compilation I was surprised to find there. Shindig. And like you can see the past four seasons, Floyd Kramer, Ronnie Dove, Janet Dean, Dean, Don Covey, Jerry Lee Lewis, Irma Thomas, Chuck Jackson, Solomon Burke, and Jimmy Clinton. Another one here that uh, I think uh, Chris Brzezinski would like. First one I have by them. The Ray Charles Singers, Something Special for Young Lovers. Okay, another Johnny Mathis, Heavenly. Okay, another one where you see a lot, and there I figured hey, I'll just uh, get this, check it out. Only 10 cents. Ray Conniff's World of Hits. And I, you might hear my uh, daughter some in the background here, maybe my wife, but they're not bothering me. Here's one that I thought looked interesting. On the side it says astrological, let's see if I can get astrological series volume one, the Astro Musical House of Aquarius. Don't know if it's by a certain artist, all the songs or what. I just thought it was, was looked interesting. It said it's on GWP Records uh, from 1969. It has like a booklet in there about the music and design of Aquarius. Or Johnny Mathis. Portrait of Johnny Mathis. And the last one I have is uh, Gino Vanelli, Powerful People. And there was a lot of other stuff I passed up there, of course, the uh, Herb Albert ones and uh, another person you see, I see a lot at them, but I was surprised because they had a box 
of uh, seven inch discs, picture sleeves, but they were all Andy Williams. I just passed up on that. I don't know if I haven't listened to much of his stuff. I maybe I should again. He is originally from Iowa and uh, used to watch his uh, variety show when I was a kid. After all, he brought us the Osmonds. But uh, I think that's all, all I have for uh, this uh, for now. So until next time, take it easy and keep on rocking.